This is hopefully going to be a fairly concise review of the book Saint Just. It's a historical biography of. Oh crap. It's a historical biography of um, a figure who came about during the, the terror after the French Revolution. And it pretty much describes this kind of poisonous, utopian thought that he had. And at first it was um, it was extraordinarily optimistic and uh, utopian. And how that kind of... How his... Um, his view became more and more tyrannical. His ideas became more and more authoritarian and tyrannical as his time in power lengthened. And also how he became... how the things he eventually had his name attached to, the, thing, the decisions that were responsible to him from the... Uh, Committee of Public Health, the Committee of Public Safety, which was a section of the, parliament, the revolutionary parliament, how that was responsible for so many people's deaths, and how he had this kind of Rousseau-like uh, belief that man, in the, is his natural state is, uh, you know, that man has been corrupted by society, and the only way to achieve a peaceful, perfect society is to revert to our natural state and how the reason people think that man's natural state is barbarism or, or greed or selfishness or any of that kind of thing is because that's what society did to us. We were corrupted by uh, the advance of society and when asked to, to provide examples of how such a perfect kind of being how this corruption took place and when it took place his, his details were extraordinarily vague and not really very thought through at all, and how he was always very convinced of his ideas, and a bit like Rousseau, as time went on, he became more and more convinced that he was the one who saw what needed to be done, and he was the one who could tell the people what they needed. It's a rather kind of a condescending kind of a revolutionary attitude, because he believed that the people, he knows what's good for them, he knows what's best for them. And that idea, you know, obviously has a very dangerous kind of um, possibility. It's a, it's a seed for a, a great bouquet of terror, and um, that indeed grew. And how he became more and more delusional and more and more solipsistic. And he, in the end, anyone who was an enemy of him was an enemy of the revolution and therefore an enemy of this ideal state and therefore a supporter of the monarchy and therefore must be killed or exiled. Or, um, and at first, in this book he wrote, he at first states that societies like Greece and Rome especially were imperfect because they impinged upon the liberties of man. But then, by the end of the same book, he's actually advocating the Romans as a perfect example of as a, you know, a model society because that was the one that told people what needed to be done and uh, protected them. Its authoritarian nature was actually beneficial to people. And therefore he, in his own way, tried to kind of craft that society. And he was going to you know, extend the terror.
because that was his way of secure, you know, his means to this supposedly utopian end became more and more, sorry, his means to this utopian end became further and further removed, farther and farther removed from this, in fact, even contradictory to the u utopia he was trying to establish. And he didn't grasp, you know, either, if he did, he was so far gone down the rabbit hole of his own delusion that he couldn't see it, or he didn't want to. In fact, I think at one one of the final things he wrote, he said, I know this is all a dream. And then something, because the book features, I haven't even talked about the book that much, the book features kind of letter extracts from him. It's either sent to other people or letters addressed to him. And it's also quite interesting as a book, because it doesn't only show you the life of St. Just, but it also gives you a glimpse into the the infighting and the squabbles and the tension of the of the terror and the you know the of the revolutionary parliament and how everyone was denouncing everyone else and it was just you know people were being killed left right and center and um, the reasons well I'm not going to give away it's not like it's a a fictional narrative I suppose if I give away why let's just say he dies at a very young age he died at a very young age Managed to do a lot, really, to say he died so young. Most of it not very favourable. Um, not very nice. Not with something you want your name attached to. But a very interesting study of revolutionary thought and the problems with some kinds of revolutionary thought and the problems with contradictory thinking when it becomes applied to a state and when it a person who's hasn't given himself time to work his own thoughts out or is too arrogant or overconfident to give his thoughts time so that they can properly, properly assemble themselves who rushes headlong into this perfect vision into achieving this perfect vision the risks the horrible, horrible risks latent in that or present in that and the horrible, horrible implications of such thought. So in that sense, it's a very interesting book. I forget the name of the author.